Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, it's me again. And we are going to learn about limiting reactant and percentage yield. If, for example, we are given four pieces of bun and five pieces of hot dogs, we are able to make only four hot dogs in bun. And the leftover would be one hot dog. So this is what is the meaning of limiting reagent or limiting reactant is the bun and the excess reactant is the leftover hot dog. Another simple example that we can look at is we have uh, eight car bodies and 48 tires. One car need four tires. So 8 times 4 is 32. We need only 32 tires. The leftover, the excess reactant, is 16 tires. The limiting reactant is the car bodies. So we're going to learn how to perform stoichiometric calculation using mole concept, including calculations regarding limiting reagent and percentage yield. Most of the time in chemistry, we have more than one reactant. So we need to completely use up one reactant, A, and not the other reactant, B. B is said to be in excess. The limiting reactant, A, limits the amount of products that can be formed. The limiting reagent present in insufficient quantity in order to consume the other reactants. When reactants are given in non-stoichiometric ratios, the limiting reactant would be completely consumed and limits the amount of products formed. The excess reactant, on the other hand, is the reactant that is not completely consumed and remains at the end of the reaction. For instance, if we are given eight hydrogen atoms and three oxygen atoms, we are only going to produce only three water molecules. The two hydrogen atoms now is the excess reactant, whereas the oxygen atoms are the limiting reactants. In another example, you are given a balance equation in blue here, and you are uh, given 4 moles of sulfur reacts with 10 moles of fluorine gas. We have to pick which one is the limiting reagent. In the balance equation, 1 mole of sulfur will react with 3 moles of fluorine gas. So if you have 4 moles of sulfur, you're going to need 12 moles of fluorine gas. So which one is the limiting reagent? Yes, fluorine gas. Here is a bit of calculation regarding the example. You have 1 mole of sulfur, but you're given 4. So for 1 mole of sulfur, you need 3 moles of fluorine gas. So you need 12, but you are given only 10 moles. So definitely we can say fluorine gas is the limiting reactant. Now, what is percentage yield? Percentage yield is the ratio of the actual yield, which you obtain from the experiment, to the theoretical yield obtained from stoichiometric coefficient. And then we multiply them by 100. This is the formula whereby the actual yield is usually given in the question, but the theoretical yield we have to calculate by using the limiting reactant. These are the steps involved in solving limiting reagent problems. First, we need to write the balanced chemical equation. Then we have to determine the limiting reagent. How? You have to calculate separately for each reactant. 
So the reactant, when you divide it with the stoichiometric coefficient given in the balance equation, whichever gives the lower value is the limiting reagent. So the amount of product produced is the number calculated by the limiting reagent. After that, we should be able to determine the amount of excess reagent left and calculate the theoretical and percentage yield for the reaction. Let's do example 1.14. You're given a balance equation and we have to solve a few problems. Okay, let's answer question number one. From the equation, for the balance equation, you are given A plus 5B, you got C. And from the question, you are given two A's. And this will be reacted with 9B. How many C is going to be produced? That's the question. So the first thing that you need to do is divide the number of mole given in the question with the number of mole given in the balance equation. So for A, you're going to get 2. For B, you are going to get 1.8. So which one is the smallest number? It's 1.8. Therefore, B is the limiting reactant. Right. Have we answered the question? Yes. Now calculate the number of mole of C. From the two moles given for A, we are going to use 1.8. And we are going to use it to react with 9 moles of B. And we are going to produce 1.8 moles of C. Uh, that's question B. 1.8 C is going to be produced. Question C. How much of the excess reactant is left? So the excess reactant is A. We uh, use only 1.8. So the amount of excess reactant left would be 0 0.2 moles. That's the answer for all three questions of question number one. Okay, for the second question, we want to calculate the percentage yield of copper which is produced for name from an experiment that this student is conducting. He should get 3.15 because he uh, calculated it uh, prior to the experiment but instead he got 2.755 grams of copper. So what is the percentage yield? Simple. You divide 2.755 with 3.15, multiply by 100%, and he got 87.46%. So we have finished chapter 1. Thank you very much for listening and see you again soon. Bye.